Hello and welcome back to our channel and our series on the procurement process. In today's session, we will go through creating a contract for purchasing. Contracts are long-term purchasing agreements between the organization and a specific supplier to supply certain items or carry out a specific service. And it also contains all terms and conditions that are supposed to be met by both parties. Proceeding, we execute our create purchase contract transaction. It is also worth noting that contracts are valid for a certain time period and cover a predefined value or quantity. This means there are two types of contracts, a value contract and a quantity contract. In this lesson, we are going to create a quantity contract for our supplier. Specifying our supplier. The agreement type is where the system is able to tell whether the contract being created is a quantity contract or a value contract. So I'll go ahead and select my option for the quantity contract. Indicate my purchasing organization, which again is the business unit responsible for the day-to-day -day procurement in our company and also specify my requesting department, which is the purchasing group. I also specify my plant and move to my next screen. Remember, contracts are valid within a certain time period. So I go ahead and set my dates for when my contract validity ends. And also my target value. I can, uh, I can also fill in my payment terms, my INCO terms, or other information that is to the discretion of the user. Moving to my next screen, I specify the material I'm creating the contract for, as well as my target quantity and the net price. I can make changes to the supplier address if I so wish to. Otherwise, I can go ahead and save my contract document. A contract number is generated, which can then be assigned when creating a purchase requisition or a purchase order. This brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Subscribe to our channel to view other lessons in our procurement series. Thank you.